Hi, for this video, I want to show you how to find the margin of error for a t-interval. Uh, remember that we use a t-interval when the sample standard deviation is known rather than the population standard deviation. If you know the population standard deviation, then you would run a z-interval. Um, so for these, we are given the sample standard deviation. Uh, just a reminder what the formula is. The margin of error formula is e equals, and some textbooks use ME instead of just E. Um, it equals the T score, which could be T star or TC or T sub DF. There's a lot of different notation. It's just your T score for that level of confidence times S divided by the square root of the sample size. So those are the things that we have to know in order to find this. Okay, so the first thing that I want to start with is finding TC. For TC, what we need to know is we need to know our degrees of freedom. And remember that our degrees of freedom are always n minus 1. So in this case, if I take 17 minus 1, my degrees of freedom would be 16. And we also want to change our percentage to a decimal, so our level of confidence would be 0.9. So I have a chart right over here that will kind of help us to see what we're looking at. So for this, we're going to be looking for 90% confidence. So if we look at the top, it tells us our level of confidence. And then we're going to go down until we find degrees of freedom 16, and we're going to go across this row. So we can see that it's the value 1.746. Okay, so that will give us our first TC. Okay, and now we have all of the information that we need in order to just plug it into our calculator. So we would put in our TC, which is 1.746, and then we would take our S, which is 2.5, and we would divide it by the square root of 17, and we would plug that into our calculator as far as rounding goes, it just depends on um, the situation. A lot of times I will round this to three or four decimal places. Uh, I went ahead and wrote it down as four, but I'm going to, uh, so I'll just go ahead and give it to you guys as four. So 1.0587 is what this rounds to. Just look at, especially if you're working on an online homework platform, just round to however many places they tell you to. All right, so let's look at another one just to make sure that you understand. And if you want to, you can always pause the video, try this one on your own, and then check to see if you got the right answer. So again, the first thing that we want to do is find our critical value T, and we always just put it as the positive value. Uh, so with this 95% confidence, we would come over to our table. And we also need to know our degrees of freedom, sorry. Degrees of freedom is going to be 25 minus 1 which gives us 24. So we want to look for 95% confidence this time. So this time we're going to go to 95% confidence. And then we're going to go to degrees of freedom 24. And so we would go down this column here and we can see that it is 2.064. Okay, so our TC is 2.064. And then you would just plug it in. So we would say that we have 2.064 times 3.2 divided by the square root of 25. And if you plug this into your calculator, it ends up being 1.32. And I went ahead and put this out fully because it wasn't rounded, 0 0.96. I could have rounded this to 1.3210 if I wanted to go to four decimal places. Like I said, the more decimal places you have, the more precise your answer is, so the less you round, really, the better. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.